What's up guys, it's me Bradley from Bradley's Adventures and we're back with another video, finally. Um, I did have a couple other videos I was going to do, but I lost all the footage to those, so we aren't doing that anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a garden tour and uh, you guys are going to come and help me with Okay guys, so right here is a whole row of 120 foot row of peas. These we planted um, back in April, I believe. So they're actually doing pretty good. Go ahead and get down here and show you guys them again. They're gonna need to be vined here soon, but they're doing nice. And um, the soil is looking a little bit weedy, but we're going to go ahead and um, fix that up by putting some hay or grass clippings down on the floor there. Well, not floor, the ground, to smother out the weeds, but keep the peas growing strong and healthy. Okay, guys, here is the row of beets goes all the way down there. I need to come in and thin them out. This is only a um, like 80 foot row of beets that we did. So I need to come in and thin them out. Some of them are pretty spaced closely. So I'll just grab scissors and thin them out. But um, they're growing up pretty nicely. Once again, tons of weeds around them that I'm going to put grass clippings and other little things like that. So that's the beets. And then in the same row, just a little bit down the way, um, I planted it half beets, half radishes. So here are a couple of the radishes that I planted right there. Um, they're starting to bulb a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that right there or not I hope it's focusing but right there is a little bit of radish and this is another just about 60 foot row of radishes or so spaced down through here so next we'll go ahead and talk about onions Okay guys, that's our onions planted. We have red and green onions planted. Um, well, red and yellow onions planted. We still have another 60 foot to plant of onions. We just don't have them yet. They're actually planted up in the greenhouse. So in about a week or so, we're gonna go get them and then we'll plant them out in the rest of this row to finish up the farm. So um, that's what we got planted in the garden so far. And uh, let's go ahead and look at something fun real quick. Okay guys, so this is actually um, really fascinating. We didn't even plant this, but this is something that came up in the brassica family. There's actually two of them. So it's either a Brussels sprout, broccoli, or cabbage. My guess is a Brussels sprout, because we had our Brussels sprouts planted just about here last year. So I'm thinking it's two Brussels sprout plants that came up. But um, they're both volunteers, which are actually pretty funny that they came up. Because, I mean, nothing even went to seed. So I'm not sure how they came up or how they survived over the winter. But that's the um, Brussels sprouts that are actually pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and look at some things in pots now. Okay, guys, before we move over to some pots, here's actually a couple... Um, 
strawberries that we have planted. Here's a couple that are flowering a little bit. And I've never actually had um, strawberries before. So this is the first time ever growing them. I hope I get a couple little berries just to try this year. And uh, I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay guys, here are a couple pots of lettuce that I have planted. I actually got this lettuce um, from a greenhouse nearby. They had a pretty good deal on it, so I bought a couple packs. And um, we've already been eating this with our tacos, hamburgers, things like that. So it's really good tasting lettuce. It's growing nicely. I've been able to harvest a harvest from it all so far. And it's grown back for another harvest. And then right down in here, guys, um, these are some lettuces I started from seed. This one is much taller. It will be having its first harvest here in a little bit. This one here in a little bit. So I'm, I got quite a bit of lettuce planted, but lettuce is good. Okay guys, here we are at a little raised garden bed area. Um, I have a dill plant there and some shives here. And then um, right here, I planted some radishes. So these are starting to get ready. As you can see, um, this one right here is starting to bulb up nicely. So after these um, grow a few more days, we'll probably be harvesting them here soon. And then um, we'll probably roast them or something like that because roasted um, radishes are really good. So next thing we'll look at is some kale and spinach real quick, and then we'll go ahead and plant some seeds. Okay guys, here's a little bit of spinach that I started from seed. And then right over here is a little bit of kale. Kale is one of my favorites to eat. I love the taste of kale, and you can do a lot of different things with it. Put it in smoothies, um, and make kale chips, and all sorts of things like that. So let's go ahead and start planting some seeds, I guess. Okay guys, before we plant some seeds, I totally forgot about these. But this is some carrots that I planted in one of these beds. Only three of the five rows came up. I gotta space them out a little bit and thin them. But that's carrots. We've never actually been able to successfully grow carrots. So I'm excited to see if they'll grow this year. I'm hoping they will. They actually germinated, which I've never had them do. So I'm excited for carrots. Okay guys, so here is the bed that I was building in the one video. Um, it's a lasagna style bed, which is where you layer um, cardboard. Then you lay a little bit of unfinished compost or hay or something like that. Then a little bit of um, compost on top and you can keep on lasagna that. That's why they call it a lasagna bed, or you can plant right into it, whatever you want. So I am gonna go ahead and plant some things. As you can tell here, I got some peas planted, and the other day I was in here with a little um, rake hoe, just hoeing it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this stick and try and make a little bit of a seed trench that we'll go ahead and plant our seeds into. That way I can keep it as straight as I can. So there we have a little trench. And the first thing we will go ahead and plant is a little bit of rocky top lettuce with another variety of lettuce. Rufty Harver, Hiver, however you pronounce that. We're going to go ahead and plant these right down this row so that I have another batch of lettuce coming. And when you're planting lettuce, you don't really have to space it out that much. You can almost plant it like if you're going to plant baby greens because it will come up nicely. So I'm just going to Pour a little bit of 
both times and into my hand. And they both should come up about the same time. So we'll just go ahead and go down this row. Now, usually I'd say maybe so I'm one fourth an inch apart, or you could even go closer, depending how close you want to have your lettuce. I'm planning them decently close because I can fit as much lettuce as I can in this bed. Um, I'll be able to get a good harvest off of it because this is high intensity gardening spacing is what they call it. So we'll just go ahead and cover it up with just light little backfill right into the trench. And we'll water all of this in right after I'm done. So that's our lettuce planted. I am going to go ahead and next we'll go ahead and plant a little bit of radishes. Because those radishes are almost ready. And radishes only take a couple days to grow. They don't take all that long to grow. And before I plant this row... I'm just going to go ahead and grab this little tool and just break up a little bit of the top first inch or so. That way we can plant directly into it. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab our stick make a second trench and then we can plant our radishes directly into it okay so radishes I would probably space them about two to three inches apart each radish because if you don't you'll have to thin them out so uh, and I spilled a couple of seeds. So we'll just grab those, toss them in here. There we go. So we're just going to plant these about three inches apart. And it's okay if you plant double, the most you might have to do is thin them out a little bit. Because if one doesn't come up and you don't get 100% germination, then you'll be good if you plant a couple extra every few inches. So just plant and finish up the end here. There, there, there. Okay, so I'll go ahead and cover that up. Then we'll go ahead and put these back in our pocket. And then we're only doing one more row. And this last row is going to consist of kale, Swiss chard, and a little bit of, um, what was it, spinach. So I'm just going to do a little bit more of that stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and break up the soil again like I did in the last row. There's still a couple rocks in here from where I got a little bit of the compost and topsoil. So, go ahead and 
go ahead and grab our last time we're needing the stick for right now. Go ahead and make our little trench. And we'll be planting um, potatoes here very soon. So now we have our spinach. Bloomsdale Long Standing, Red Russian Kale, and Rainbow Swiss Shard. So we'll go ahead and start the row out with the spinach. And I don't have many more seeds in here, so I'll probably plant the rest of the seeds. And with spinach, you can almost plant it like about an inch apart because they'll grow up nicely together and then you can get a lot of harvest off of them. So we'll just go ahead and sow our spinach, that's our spinach. Next we'll move on to the Swiss chard and then we'll go ahead and sow our um, kale. The Swiss chard seeds almost look like a um, beet seed, so we're just going to plant a little bit of Swiss chard because I have none this year. And actually I've never really fully had Swiss chard either. So the everything will be out by midsummer and at midsummer I'll either plant some beans or something like that. So there's our Swiss shard planted and then we'll go ahead and finish out this row with kale. And if you ever planted um, broccoli or um, cabbage or Brussels sprouts or anything like that, these seeds look exactly like those basically. They're in the same family as brassicas, your cabbages, broccoli, things like that. And these, I would say, plant them just about three or so inches apart. So we'll go ahead and Finish this row off. And there we go. That's everything planted. We'll go ahead and cover this last row. And then give it a couple weeks and it all should be coming up. And um, if you guys want, I'll go ahead and post a photo on my Instagram when they come up. If you guys want to follow that, it's um, Bradley's Adventures YouTube. I don't believe there's any underscores. I'll pop it up on the screen right now. And then um, that will be nice and fun to plant. So we'll go ahead and get the verse of the day. Okay guys, the verse of the day is Colossians 4.2. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. So that's the verse of the day. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the Instagram. We'll go ahead and post pictures of when this stuff is coming up. And uh, we'll We'll go ahead and do other fun content on that. So I'll do stories and things like that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment. Go ahead and share this video to your friends, your grandma, your grandpa, your cats, dogs, anything that likes gardening. So um, thank you guys for watching and until next time, God bless.